update my code. Now 9 and 13. Maximization room. <laughs> It's been a change of plans! The accounting department has determined that treating all numbers equally is no longer proper. Management wants the big numbers only. <sighs> Got two things for the inbox and put only the bigger of the two in the inbox. If they equal, pick either one. Jumps only if you're when you're holding is negative or less, less than zero, otherwise it's just. <sighs> okay. Like this. So, two things. In, copy to, zero, boom. Grab the second item, which is a seven. The seven. You're gonna do exactly what we just did the first one. Sub zero. So, he, he's gonna put the four in. Tick seven, sub so seven minus four is three. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, hold. We got some complicated if statements going on. Some uh, Boolean logic we gotta sort through here. So, if negative, whoops, if if this thing is negative. Uh, well, in this case, it'll be positive, right? So, if it's positive, that means... Wait a minute. Copy to 1 first. So, 0 is the first number, 1 is the second number, this is like an array, you know? So, if negative... Okay, it'll be positive, right? So... Okay, it's fine. If it's negative... But, no, 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 let's, let's, use, let's use the example that we're given. I think that, okay? So, 4 is going to go in 0. 7, I'm putting in 1, and then I'm going to subtract 0, so 7 minus 4 is 3, that's positive. So, jump, so it's going to jump over, over past this blue block right here. So what I'm going to do, is copy from 1, then outbox, then beginning of the code. Now if it is negative, Copy from zero. Got some fancy, fancy code going on right here. Hold on. So, what it's going to do is it's going to take what I, I'm going to comment this for you guys. So, can I type? I, <laughs> I cannot type. I just type what's going to So, basically, positive check, and then I just take a space. Never mind. So, I don't need that. I don't need comments in this. Oh, this is vertical. So, you know, so what it's gonna do is it's gonna take the first one, put it zero, take the second one, put that in one. It's going to subtract the number that I'm holding, which will be the second number from the first number. The second number from the first number, in this case, will be three. Because three is positive, it's going to uh, for this jump, it's gonna take the first value. We can wait, the bigger. Oh, wait, no, I messed up. Copy for the, uh, the other way around, other way around. My bad. My, my bad. So I'm just gonna take the positive number, which. Wait a minute. No, I had that right. Never mind. Ignore, ignore, what, ignore what, I'm, what I'm talking about. No, ignore that. So it's gonna take. So 4 is here, 7 is here. 7 minus 4 is 3. It's gonna take 1. Then it's going to go to the outbox to jump to the beginning. But if it was negative, same with this negative, it's gonna jump over here, copy from 0, outbox, and then go back to the beginning. Okay. But if they're equal, the copy either. But I don't think I have to do an if zero. I don't think so. Because zero is positive by this code, so it should just take one. And it said I can return either one, so we should be fine. 
So let's make sure this works out. Takes four. Seven. Gonna keep holding it. Subtract. You got three. Take seven, which is the bigger one. Take the three. Put that there. Take the eight. Put that in the second one. Negative three minus eight is a negative number. Take negative three. Way. Oh, that. Yeah. Okay. No. That. That's the bigger number. Yeah. Negatives. So the win. Eight. Eight. They're equal. Eight minus eight is zero. So just take that one. It doesn't matter which one they take. Take eight. Take three. Three minus eight, negative five. Take the first one. Dump it in. And boom, bad boom. We just did it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Take my hands. Ah! Oh. Was it speedy? That no. Ah! Oh. Oh. There was some inefficiency in my code back. Ah, I tried my best to reuse code, man. Jump if negative. But if it's positive, go to the coffee firm, then jump. Because <sighs> the problem is, if I don't have this jump here, then it's always going to take what it's in zero. I don't know in this case, actually. Unless I don't have to copy. No, I have to copy both values because as soon as I subtract the two, I get a completely different number. But it is kind of inefficient that way, though. But I, I can't compare the two numbers that I have without doing uh, subtraction and addition that way. Well, see, it also doesn't really make sense. I just, I just dropped my mouse, uh oh. But it, it kind of. What doesn't make sense to me right now is what would make this more efficient. Because because right now I'm trying to do. I have to use the jump here so that it skips. The, I mean, if I get rid of it. I, this this isn't gonna work. I mean that. Yeah, it didn't work for the exact reason I said. This ha this has to be here. So th then I just then I just have to rewrite the code. Yeah, th this one would just be a complete rewrite. But. Let's take the video, let's keep going, and I'm just gonna, you know, go back to what I said, and just, you know, um, go back, and get all the unlocks later with maybe a different solution. Yes, I know this is not optimal, wah wah. That's the first one I had, I didn't get either of them. Employee Moral Insertion. <laughs> and that, ladies, is how I saved a bundle on my long-distance telephone service. <laughs> she switched to T-Mobile. Ah, she switched to Verizon, obviously. Back to work, everyone. <laughs> that yellow one can have a coffee. A massive army of machines has surrounded the city. The machines are not moving, and they are not communicating. Local authorities are investigating. Always a big win. Alright, absolute positivity. Korea, milestone number two. You're 16.